Hello, it's Richard from OneSite Solutions. Uh, this next video will be on histories. So uh, in the last video we done, we added some alarms, which were an extension to the components here. So like where we've added these extensions. Uh, so when we do the history, if you open up the history palette, they're a very similar. Um, they are an extension, so we add them in the same way. So you've got numeric interval, numeric change of value, uh, Boolean interval, chilling, Boolean change of value, and then you've also got the enums and the strings as well. So um, for this boiler flow temperature, I want to add a numeric interval. So this would be uh, default to every 15 minutes. We can change that if we want to. Um, so you can see here the interval is 15 minutes. Um, and you can also notice it's disabled. So by default, when you add these uh, histories, they are always disabled. The um, the history name, uh, we need to keep them as the same source format as the uh, alarms that we set up. So we can copy the alarm one and just paste that onto here. So it's the same format. Um, and so if we need to enable them, we can enable them from here. So that is uh, pretty much set up now. Um, I can now go and view that history uh, once it's collected some data. Um, down the bottom of my tree here, uh, under histories, I've now got my boiler flow temperature. So it's important, what's really important to remember is that when you do have one of these, uh, it's disabled. So when I duplicate it and put it onto another point, it's going to be disabled as well. So you have to go and enable it. Um, so for the Boolean points, uh, you can use a Boolean change of value or a Boolean interval. So let's go for a change of value here on my border one fault. Again, we can paste that uh, parent name structure onto there and enable it so with the boolean obviously it's going to every time it changes state it will plot um, so to see that i can action this a couple of times so i can go to fault back to healthy so every time um, it changes it will uh, create a history so if i go and look at my baller one uh, fault Double click on that, you should see a couple of change of states there. So, yep, you can see um, this is like a heat map view. You can see where it's going to fault. And even um, as I mouse across there, it will go from fault and then it, the colors change to gray, which is saying it's healthy. Um, and you can also click on these dots and it will actually show you at the top here that it is in the fault in that, when it's in that status at the top here as well. Okay. Um, there's also, um, by default, you have an audit history and a log history, um, which are set up in your services. So if we go to our services now, you can see the audit history, the log history, and also the history service. Looking on the history service, similar to when we looked at the alarm extension manager, there's the history extension manager. So if you could turn them all on and off from here, you could uh, enable and disable them. Uh, same as right click um, and you can jump straight to these points as well you know right click on it so go to point or go to history um, and if we look at the property sheet of the uh, history service sorry the audit history service you can see here um, The capacity that's what I was looking for. So with the um, audit history, um, it does does default to a 500 um, capacity, and then it will roll round like scroll round. So you can change that if that's not enough. Remember, this is probably going to be on the station, uh, so there probably won't be that many changes. In, and 500 is probably usually enough, but of course, it also it obviously uh, depends on the use of the station. Um, and there's also the same for the log history there. It's the same thing. Um, 
these histories that I've added to the actual components here, if we go into com history config, they have the same thing, the capacity in 500. So you can attend to that there and change it. Uh, usually these would be archived to the supervisor every every day or every other day. So if you're if you've got 15 minute plots and you've got 500 and that's four or five days, I think, if you worked it out. So that's usually enough um, and shouldn't really need to do much of those if you are going to be exporting them. Just be careful not to uh, change it to um, unlimited on your JACE because that will obviously cause problems eventually um, and, and be eaten away at your resources on your on the station. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, that's really it. Oh, sorry, just one more thing is um, the history database. Down the bottom, uh, if you right click on the actual history and go to views, this is where you can take care of the history database. So um, if you want to tidy the database up, you move points over to this area and you can either clear old records or delete histories from here. So it will, it will attend to things that are in the list on the right hand side. And so you click on it here and then you say if you want to clear all records and then say run maintenance and it will clear all the records associated with that all of fault. Okay, so um, that's really all there is to the histories. Um, so that's it. I'll see you on the next one.